Well, 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 if it isn't in your Hotspine 4 main menu, I guess we're playing Hotspine 4 again after almost a year. You know, there's this whole new DLC thing, and I think I know which country I want to play as today. It's Turkey! You guys all know that real men play without historical AI. So yeah, this is my nation, the great nation of Turkey. And we start off with 31 divisions, that's a decent amount of divisions, I guess. Oh yeah, let's militarize the Bosporus and risk a war with the Soviets. What could possibly go wrong? Oh crap, my military industry is almost non-existent. By the way, you can build trains now in Hotspine 4. I think we all know what this means. Yeah, my industry is not too good, but also not too bad. It's okay. But it will be great. Believe it. You know, for a minor nation like Turkey, we actually have a very decent general staff, but the issue is that most of them have this camelism trait. They will soon be gone. And by gone, I mean suddenly disappearing. <laughs> you all know what I'm gonna do. Well, we could offer a compromise, but I won't offer a compromise to those stinky rat motherfuck. <laughs> the British just abandoned us, but guess what? I don't care. Ah yes, risking the integrity of my entire nation just to get some political power and stability. Totally worth it. Okay guys, let's take a second just to appreciate how freaking good Ataturk's traits are. Like, wow, this is good I guess? Well, I guess we can handle those sectarian woes. Or should I say sectarian hoes? Oh crap, we're screwed. Oh no, you have a heart of steel. I don't think so, Papa Stalin. That is exactly why I needed that PP so desperately. Of course, I'm talking about the political power, not the other thing, you pervert. Hold up, the Brits are voluntarily giving up their colonies? What a sick world are we living in? Oh yeah, and there is also this Kurdish thing problem. Yeah. Yeah, um, where's the genocide button? I can't find it for some reason. Yeah, I think that I picked this name out of desperation and lack of creativity, I think. Hey you, Rudy Nazar, how good are you at oppressing minorities? Alright, you got the job, now do what you're good at and oppress some minorities. And there is a Carlist uprising, another faction in the Spanish Civil War. They might be fighting each other right now, but they share one common similarity. They are all in Spain, but without the S. Huh, that's weird. I feel like this gameplay is missing out on something. J just give me a minute, I have an idea. <laughs> At least we've got that meme out of the way. I just got the notification that my boy Anatoke also kicked the bucket. How unfortunate. At least we have this douchebag leading my country now. Adnan Menderes. But don't worry guys, he will soon be gone. Yeah, our former leader just faced a minor inconvenience called death. I really like uh, that you can make that tactical decision as Turkey, whether to invest in your industry with political power or to save that political power for other things. Honestly, I really love that. The Kurds just keep destroying their infrastructure. It's not my problem if they want to destroy their own streets and their own homes. What the hell? Ah yes, erupting a civil war in your own country just to reclaim an old empire. Totally worth it. Yes, our old empire awaits reclamation. And now we are red. But not communist. I hope. And we are now led by Refet Pasha. But he will also soon be gone. Anyway, I will now quickly deal with that civil war. Just, just give me a sec. And we're done. <laughs> Damn, that civil war just lasted shorter than me in bed. Don't mind me building up my military industry for a friendly-ish purpose. By the way, some former Ottoman officers recently decided to join me and to be honest here, they are actually really good. It looks like that Britain has decided to free the Middle East. Well, 
Not on my watch, pal. This is my division template. It is a basic 25 combat with infantry division with artillery. Uh, it will mostly fight on the mountains. That's why I have made it 25 combat with. Oh yes, the Ottoman Sultanate is finally reborn. Alhamdulillah. May I introduce you to Sultan Abdul Majid II, the bearded guy. Not even two months in charge and Mr. Abdul Majid II declared war on Greece. That's more like it. Ah, finally, we have secured our troops an endless supply of gyros. Now we are unstoppable. Whoops, I think my finger slipped. And now we are at war with Iraq. Nice. What? Where did Iraq go? I just see a Turkish pumper. Why is this faction map so cursed? Shit's about to go down when you realize that Malta has become a major. Look at that, we have become green. And we can cross on territories now. How generous of the French is to allow me to take Syria and Lebanon just like that? Churchill? Churchill, don't you dare flip into communism. Where the fuck did Britain go so wrong to get naval invaded by Italy? Italy! Meanwhile, I'm going through Saudi Arabia out of boredom and disappointment towards the British. I am also invading Yemen because... Why not? Declaring war on the Axis nations. Is this stupid? Sure. Am I aware of that? Of course. Do I give a shit about it? Nah. Let's see how good my defensive line will hold in Greece. Hold up, what? Oh, <laughs> how come that the allies are so incompetent? I'm actually surprised that I'm doing that well in the air war against Germany. Maybe sending him about 10,000 guns will help our daddy Stalin. You know? If the Germans manage to push through the Caucasus, I am dead. Yes, keep dying on the battlefield, that sauerkraut must flow. I am very certain that this heavy tank division will make my enemies sweat in fear. Nope, forget it, I'm the one who's sweating in fear right now. Scheiße, I have to go on full tryhard mode again. By the way, I've got a new Sultana, and she is hot. What the fuck happened down here? The Germans just decided to freak me from all sides!
Nope, I give up. I can't possibly win this scenario anymore. It may be so that I will disappoint Naruto with it, but the Germans are pushing from the Caucasus, they're pushing from the Middle East, they're pushing through Greece, they're even pushing through Anatolia. And I have no idea what am I supposed to do with this. Maybe I could send it to Alex the Rambler. Perhaps he could fix it, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm too tired and too frustrated right now, that's why I'm gonna call it off here. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I wish you a very, very good day.